guys, it's Lee here. Hope you're all doing good today. Today, I wanted to just show you some licks that I've been working on. I get asked a lot about how to get started with, you know, blues playing, improvisation, and just basically where to get started with lead playing in general. So I thought I would write some really cool blues style licks for some beginner to intermediate players, and you know, you guys can have some fun with them. There's a backing track which goes with these examples, so it's what I'm playing over in the video. I'll put a link to the full version of that in the in the description, so you guys can take these licks, jam over the track, and just have some fun with it. These licks are all in the key of A minor, and they're using a scale called the pentatonic scale. If you've started to look at lead playing, you probably heard of that scale, so that'll be here on the screen in a moment. And we're gonna be doing this in the key of A minor. So that means we're taking this scale shape that you just saw on the tab, and playing it from the 5th fret on the E string. The pentatonic scale also has a second shape, which will also appear on the screen in a moment, and that starts from the 8th fret of the E string. So all the licks in this video are using those two scale shapes. There's a couple of instances where I throw in some notes between the shapes, but when I do that I'll explain what, what I'm going for there. Okay, so this first lick is just a nice straightforward pentatonic lick with some string bending. So when you're doing the bending, you want to obviously make sure your pitching is correct, so you're aiming for the ninth fret note and bending up the 7th fret to that note. When you're doing the bend that's followed then by the two 5th fret notes on the B and E strings, you want to make sure to roll your finger so you get that. Don't forget to bar across those strings with the first finger. Number two, we start using something called triplets, which is when we take a beat and we apply three notes to it. So we're going one, two, three, four. We're applying that across the whole bar. So the second half of the lick is also using triplets. So the first one being, that's one beat. And then... This third lick is a little bit of a Stevie Ray Vaughan, Albert King inspired lick. It actually does use a note between the pentatonic notes, playing in the second shape up at the top end. But what we're actually adding is this ninth fret note. Uh, it's called the flat fourth. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be bending it up to a note that's in the scale. So this is something that Stevie Ray Vaughan used to do a lot. That's in the scale, but that's not. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing that note, bending it back up to this tenth fret. Number four, we've got some more triplets in there. So that takes the, sh the form of a pull off from the eight to the five on the B and the seventh fret on the G. Followed by a bend. And then we've got a triplet descending line. So each group of three falls on one beat. So one, two. Lick number five, we're actually using this double stop, which is the ninth fret on the G string and the eighth fret on the B string. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing it as a triplet, so doing it three, three per beat, but I'm gonna be sliding into it as well. This kind of simulates a slide guitar. Then I'm gonna be doing a triplet here with a pull off from the seven to the five to the seven on the D string. The next triplet is the seven on the G with three quick bends in succession. One, two, three and we land on the 5th fret of the G to finish. In this next lick, we get a little bit weird, so we're starting off with a high 2nd shape pentatonic run, but after that full step bend, you want to, instead of releasing the bend, you want to roll onto the 10th fret of the string above. So you're not releasing the bend, you're just playing 
two tenth fret notes in succession, followed by the nine on the G and the eight on the B. Then there's a descending run which starts with a bend. So bend the seven on the G up to the pitch of the nine, then play the five on the B. Then we're doing another double triplet run down. So it's one, two. The strange thing about that run is the transition from beat one to beat two happens in the middle of a polyp. Bam. So instead of playing the first note of each triplet, the actual first note of the second triplet happens in the pull-off stage. I ended on the wrong note there. I ended on the seventh fret of the G, not what I did. More double stops in lick number seven, the fifth fret on the G and the B strings. Play them together and bend away. This is something you see people like Angus Young doing quite a lot. So we're gonna stick with the sort of shuffle feel for this. So really this lick isn't that hard to play, but the trick is in getting the timing and the feel of it right. So you wanna apply that, that blue shuffle on a two. Take your time with that one just to get the feel of it right. Lick number eight is a bit busier, so this is sort of a Chuck Berry inspired lick, but there's also bits of hard rock in there as well. So it starts with a bunch of triplets on the seventh fret of the G and the fifth fret on the B and E string. So that's played with a bend, followed by two notes there. Then we've got a descending triplet line. So it does the first triplet, the second triplet, then I go back to the double stop for a triplet, and then end on the seven, five, seven on the D string. Lick number nine starts with a bend on the eighth fret of the pentatonic first shape before coming back to the same note. Then a descending triplet run. Now I've picked each note and it's displayed in the tab as picked but you can play it with pull-offs if you want. The second half is quite simple, but there's a bit of a feel thing here going on, so it's... Quite spaced out, those notes are. So again, take your time just to get the feel of those over the track. Lick number 10 is a B.B. King style lick. Anyone that's, uh, you know, ventured down the rabbit hole of blues guitar will know a lot about B.B. King, and he is the undisputed master of phrasing. He's someone who could take very few notes and make them say a lot of things. The trick with playing this, uh, this sort of way is to really not overdo it. Just focus on the notes you're playing and try and make them sing. So this starts with a double bend on the 10th fret of the E string. So I'm going up, down, and back up again. So I'm going, and then I'm going from the 8 of the E to the 10, 10 on the B. Then the second bar, I'm still in that second shape, I'm playing 9 on the G and 2 10s on the B, and then ending with this little quarter tone bend on the 8th fret of the E. Now contrary to what you normally think about string bending, those quarter tone bends that BB does, he'll do them at the back end of the scale with his first finger. Now, typically you'd bend with the third finger and support it with other fingers, but there's certain instances where you can actually get away with just using the first finger. And it can have some quite cool effects. I hope you enjoyed these licks. Thank you so much for watching. I will put a link to the backing track that I've used in the description below so you guys can have a jam along as well. I really hope that you get some value from these licks and you know you can bring them into your own playing. These licks are all in the key of A minor, but they're just pentatonic licks which are transposable, which means you can put them in any position. So if you take your scale and start from a C note, it then becomes the key of C minor and these licks will work just the same. 
So thank you, enjoy, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.